112 kilometers tomorrow. It will be brought to 24 kilometers near the moon. That's on 19th August at 1.30 a.m. is when that crucial maneuver will take place. And that will mean that we are at the closest point to the moon starting tomorrow. These maneuvers is something ISRO is confident about, but extremely crucial in that final chapter of making a soft landing on the moon's south pole, which will happen as scheduled on 23rd August at 5.45 p.m. But somewhere between now to 6 p.m. is when that crucial maneuver will take place where Chandrayaan-3, where Landam Vikram, uh, which has rover Pragyan with him, will in fact, to be going closer to the moon's surface will be brought to 112 kilometers. Shilpa Nair is joining us with more details on this. Shilpa, uh, those pictures that we're showing uh, is up close and personal with the moon and you think you can't get any closer to the moon before landing but we're actually about 160 kilometers away from the moon. We're going to be getting closer in the next two hours. Well, absolutely, Akshita, we're inching closer to the moon and those images that ISRO has put out uh, is nothing but spectacular and uh, we're just breaking this information. ISRO has in fact put out the latest update. In fact, it says the lander module's health is normal and the lander module successfully underwent a deboosting operation that reduced its orbit to 113 kilometer into 157 kilometer and the second deboosting operation is scheduled for August 20th around 2 uh, around 2 a.m. That is what uh, ISRO has just put out. This is the breaking uh, update that we're getting as far as the Chandrayaan-3 mission is concerned because uh, uh, the ISRO had planned for a deboosting maneuver around 2 p.m., around uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. today and that uh, op uh, maneuver has been successful is what ISRO has just put out. Uh, that means the uh, orbit of the lander uh, landing uh, uh, module or the lander module has been successfully lowered uh, by the ISRO and the next uh, deboosting uh, maneuver will take place on August 20th. Uh, so that of course is the big update coming in from the side of uh, the uh, ISRO and uh, just a short while back of course uh, ISRO had put out those uh, you know brilliant images those uh, spectacular images of the lunar surface. Uh, in fact uh, uh, those were images captured by the lander imager camera uh, just after it was separated from the propulsion module uh, uh, on August 17th, which is yesterday. So yesterday, of course, uh, there was a, a whole separation that took place. The propulsion module and the lander module got separated. And immediately after that, uh, one of the cameras attached to the lander module, of course, took these images. And that is the image uh, that ISRO has put out, which clearly shows the lunar surface full of crates and uh, possibly somewhere uh, around that area is where uh, you know India uh, Chandrayaan 3 will be making the soft landing on August 23rd. So all eyes now on August 23rd when uh, you know Chandrayaan 3 will be making that soft landing. Uh, it is expected to take place around 5:30 to 5:45 p.m. that evening. Uh, but so far, whatever maneuvers ISRO has uh, you know completed, uh, what uh, they have undertaken, all of it has been successful. Uh, you know, right from the launch to the deboosting exercise that was performed today, all of them. Uh, have been successful and that is precisely what ISRO was hoping to do as well uh, you know even though the mission was uh, you know it, it couldn't be completed True. last time you know around, it's been picture ISRO perfect so far but as you pointed out Shilpa changes. ISRO has confirmed that the deboosting has been done we're that much closer now to the moon the next deboosting operation will happen on August 20th not on August 19th that's been confirmed now by ISRO but now it's been reduced as far as uh, the distance between the land and the moon is concerned it's reduced its orbit to 113 by 157 kilometers what that essentially means is that we're about 113 kilometers away from the moon's surface now on August 20th when the next maneuver will take place which will be at about 2 a.m. that deboosting operation is also going to be crucial because it will bring that distance down from 113 to about 24 kilometers the closest point to the moon that operation also will be very, very important because that means that we're as close to the moon as we can get before actually touching down. So at this point, Ashilpa and I have been highlighting, 
it's all picture perfect running as per schedule every single uh, timeline every single deadline so far has been met uh, all the pictures that you see on your screens there on the right of your screens are pictures that Isro has released of the view right now that lander of Vikram is enjoying and what a view it is you can see the moon surface so very clearly and now the Chandrayaan 3 is just about 113 kilometers from the lunar surface. August 23rd, Shilpa, is when we're going to be seeing that crucial soft landing taking place. But right now, in every conversation that we've had with the ISRO team, they're extremely confident that they've got it right this time and everything is going as per plan. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, whenever we speak to scientists at ISRO and even the former scientists who worked on the previous Chandrayaan missions, all of them are extremely confident that this time around, uh, you know, we are going to soft land on the lunar surface. And because, uh, you know, last time when it uh, this, the mission was, uh, you know, uh, couldn't get completed because of certain technical glitches and errors that took place, uh, ISRO has learned from those errors. And that is one of the biggest strengths of this organization, this uh, team of uh, brilliant scientists that we have at ISRO that they learn from their mistakes and they rectify it. They analyze it thoroughly. Whatever changes had to be made, they have done it this time around and they've launched it. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 was launched with a full confidence that, uh, you know, this time we will make that soft landing on the lunar surface. And so far, whatever maneuvers had to be performed, it has all been successful. It has gone on without any kind of glitch. And the latest update, of, of course, is that, uh, you know, uh, the ISRO had performed a de-boosting exercise, a de boosting maneuver for the uh, lander module and uh, that of course was performed successfully and the current distance like you pointed out Akshita uh, the re it has been reduced the orbit has been reduced to 113 kilometer uh, so that of course uh, you know is the current update and uh, as days progress uh, the lander module uh, will be brought down the distance will further come down and of course uh, on August 23rd is when that soft landing uh, will take place as far as Chandrayaan 3 is concerned uh, but meanwhile, ISRO, you know, uh, because there's a lot of excitement around the country, uh, uh, space enthusiasts, and everyone is very, very excited about this mission. And that is the reason why ISRO also has been putting out various updates, uh, keeping everyone updated about the health of the lander module, uh, uh, what exactly is happening to the propulsion module, the images, uh, because every uh, even ISRO knows that the entire country is hooked on to this, and everyone's waiting for updates uh, from uh, the team at ISRO, and that is the reason why all these the updates are being put out by the team. Uh, the propulsion module, of course, is still orbiting around uh, the moon, uh, even though it was separated from the lander module. And uh, the propulsion module will continue to carry out various studies, uh, such as studying the uh, you know atmosphere of Earth, etc. So. A array of uh, you know uh, tasks being completed, even as uh, the ISRO is you know yeah. uh, 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 finishing one maneuver after another. The next deboosting okay. exercise, of course, will be carried out on August 20th. That, of course, is the latest update. And that's going to happen at 2 a.m. But here on India today, we will ensure we stay up and get you all those live updates. Thanks very much, Shilpa, for joining us. Stunning, stunning images of the moon that you see on the right of your screens there, released by Ch uh, the ISRO team. Uh, these are pictures clicked by Lander Vikram. And this was when it was in its previous orbit. Now, as we speak, it's reached even closer to the moon. And that means essentially the nail-biting countdown for India's moonshot has officially kicked off. The de-boosting of Chandrayaan-3 has been concluded. This is the first part of the de-boosting operation and it's part of essentially the final preparations where every single time you see a de-boosting, you're going to be seeing Lander Vikram getting closer and closer to the moon. At this point, it's been brought about 112 to 113 kilometers around the moon. Now, on 19th August, actually at this point, Israel has confirmed that that will be on 20th August. 20th August, 2 a.m. is when Chandrayaan will move even closer. The next deboosting will happen, which will bring it uh, the, to the closest point of the moon at 24 kilometers. ISRO announced that Chandrayaan 3's lander module has successfully separated from the propulsion module. This was announced yesterday. Uh, all through it was a propulsion module that was powering Chandrayaan 3. Now, Lander Vikram is on his own, traveling uh, with 1,700 and 700 kilos on him to the moon.
Yes, everything is going as per planned. This one. We are working out that uh, different different maneuvers now. That uh, yesterday when we separated, it was like one sixty seven by one sixty seven kilometer orbit or so. Now it will be slowly it will be decreased to the final orbit of that thirty uh, kilometers by one or um, hundred kilometers. There. Okay. A deep boost. Uh, this one day, every day it will be there. So small, small that the uh, maneuvers will be there. This one this is not a uh, thing special. This one, and uh, finally, anyway, we need to achieve the orbit of 100 kilometers by 30 kilometers. Here, yeah, 30 kilometers is the place from where this uh, our descent is started, uh, getting started. And this orbit will be that uh, trimmed to get get into the 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers orbit. Yes, yeah, uh, this is the orbit from which from this is the altitude. 30 kilometer altitude from which this uh, lander will start journey towards surface of the Earth, I mean, uh, Moon. So the next few days, this uh, maneuvers will be done to achieve this particular orbit size. We are probably at the end, I think, a uh, uh, very short while from now. It is designed for the to further orbit. It's uh, gradually inching towards the surface of Moon. And uh, I'm sure these pictures will excite every game, but uh, for the scientific fraternity, they would have other connotations as well. The imagery would uh, give indication of the kind of uh, crater, the kind of uh, surface, the kind of milieu uh, over there. So I, I, uh, uh, I think it's uh, appropriate to say that uh, the, the lander has started doing its work even before it's uh, or started performing its task even before it is landing. So Chandrayaan-3 mission blasted off for the moon on 14th July. In its more than a month-long journey, it successfully completed several crucial maneuvers and is now nearing a very, very exciting finish. The lander will descend to a slightly lower orbit in the coming days as well. It's already come down to the 113-kilometer orbit to 24-kilometer orbit next in two days from now. Let's round up for you all the key highlights in Chandrayaan's journey so far. Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft and propulsion module, having spent 34 days together, parted ways and embarked on their respective journeys on 17th August. The propulsion module separated from the lander while in lunar orbit. A day before, on 16th August, the spacecraft had successfully completed a crucial firing operation, placing it into an orbit of 153 kilometers by 163 kilometers around the moon. This marked the completion of the lunar bound maneuvers and brought the spacecraft one step closer to its ultimate goal of landing on the south pole of the moon. This is, it is a really a vital, vital element because uh, now you look at your Chandrayaan 3 mission basically consists of uh, uh, 3 plus 1, 4 modules type of thing. First is LVM 3 which has taken the uh, composite of uh, Vikram lander uh, propulsion module and the Pregnan, the rover, uh, to the 36,000 kilometer uh, highly elliptical orbit. From there, uh, using a five uh, earthbound maneuvers, earthbound maneuvers, a uh, propulsion module has taken the composite of Vikram lander and the Pregnan to the lunar orbit. Uh, again, the lunar orbit also from the elliptical orbit, it has now brought to the near circular close to the moon around 153 kilometer orbit it has brought 153 by 163 kilometer. So now uh, the important thing is uh, fi final thing is softly and securely landing on the moon. The propulsion module is a box like structure with a large solar panel and a cylinder on top. It is responsible for carrying the lander and rover configuration until the spacecraft reaches a hundred kilometers lunar orbit. The propulsion module will now continue its role as a communication relay satellite. Now Vikram has to take its own course of action. Further it has to separate. So even after, after separating, then the major event comes. The major event is uh, uh, four uh, 800 Newton thrusters. They have to fire to take it to the lower orbit. 
they, that also will be done in two steps and uh, ensuring that all the three systems are working properly. These two steps it will go down, put 100 kilometer orbit, then from 100 to go to the uh, 30 kilometer orbit, 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. That's a very, very vital. But when it's going very closer, closer to the earth, so the position of the module has to be ascertained properly. Carrying hopes of billions of Indians, Bahubali rocket LVM-3 lifted off from Sri Harikota on 14th of July, with Chandrayaan-3 aiming to land a rover on the moon's surface. The takeoff was picture perfect. More than a month later, it's now on its last leg to make history an Indian space dream come true. Let's move on to some other stories also that we're tracking this evening. The protests continue in Kolkata's Jodhpur University over the suicide of a student. The BJP and TMC are at loggerheads in West Bengal.